how many of the folks here have ever seen one of one of these before? Have you ever seen one of those? You know what that is? That's a small one of those. Now, what it is is an imaginary deck of cards. I'm going to use this. You see, magic is the great theater of imagination, the pondering of the what if. What if I could do a real card trick with that imaginary deck of cards? In other words, take them out of the box they're in. Now, spread the deck out on the, right over here on the, on the deck there, on the, okay, spread them out. And take out one playing card. Just take one of them out and show it to the folks at home. Okay? Let them all see it. I won't peek. All right, now, I want you to remember the value of that card. Turn it face up, put it upside down on the deck, close up the deck, put them back in the box, and hand the box to me. No, uh, turn your card upside down, please. That's it. Now, that's fine. Put them right back in the box. Nicely done. Now hand the entire deck to me. Now, the point is, if you believe anything strongly enough, you can make it come true. Because you see, in magic, whatever you believe, we can have happen. I had you take an imaginary card out of an imaginary deck, and in this deck, there's now one card face up. Now, wouldn't it be amazing if it were the card you selected? Yeah, it would be. I see. Just jump right in there anytime you want to. What card did you select? Seven of Hearts. Really? <laughs> Yeah. Was it? I mean, yeah. you folks saw it. Was it the Seven of Hearts? Yeah. It was. Okay, well, if you don't mind, I'm going to change. It's not that I doubt your word, of course. I don't know you well enough to do that. But let's look here and see what indeed is the one card that is face up in this deck, right? And you know, I don't see any cards. Oh, my God, there's a card face up. Seven of Hearts, the one card face up in the deck. And right away, people say, my goodness, how did he do it? Very simply, because you see, when you took that one card out, you had no choice but to take the Seven of Hearts because it's the only card in this blue deck that had a red back on it. You see, that's, that's why that happened. I don't usually explain these things, but now you know. What's the hardest part of the biz? Collecting from the producer. <laughs> really? No. I mean, there's no hard part. The only thing that is hard is not knowing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess the hardest part is getting rebooked, really. Because the business of magic is the hard part. Do you not have a dollar bill? I do. Yeah. Do you have a dollar? Oh, the bonuses could... have been paid. Good. Your dollar bill. And um, if, if you want to do an appeal sometime, this is a wonderful way to do it. Shall I work right over here? If you are able to uh, fold the dollar bill in half, just like that, and, and fold it again, just, just like that, that way, and then fold it one more time, just like that. Notice at no time does it leave our sight. Just like that. Just do it that way. And there it is. And it, you do that. That's the magic part. Like that. And then, as you begin to open it up, the wonderful thing that happens, of course, is that this is the way that we uh, get our thing to work like this here and open it all the way up like that there and open that up like that there and you see that there we have a $100 bill and I give that to you and you see it's not only fun but profitable to do a show with me. <laughs> this is mine now. <laughs> yes, but of course you're not out of the studio yet. This is easy money. Stop sending your money to... <laughs> no, no, two. don't say that. <laughs> Just give a dollar to Harry Blackstone. That's incredible. That's wonderful. It's been nice doing business. It's my pleasure. <laughs>